Good morning. I'm really, really delighted that there are so many of you who have come for the symposium. The luncheon ticket actually entitles everyone to come to the symposium. And the purpose of the symposium really is to give back to you, our donors, information that you may need and want to know about where your money goes. It's so important that you actually understand what the research is all about, what the progress is that's being made in the world of breast cancer. And there are friends of mine who say to me, well, all right, I go to your benefit um, uh, in the spring and I dance my head off and I have a wonderful time with Elton John and I come to the lunch, but what do you do with the money? I said, well, if you would get up early and you would show up <laughs> at the symposium like 600 other ladies do, you would know what we do with the money because we want you to know and we want you to get your arms around the information. Today is the 10th anniversary of a concept that we first learned about when Dr. Judah Folkman received the first Jill Rose Award 10 years ago in 1997. And on this anniversary, our topic to, of our seminar today is Starve a Cancer, Stop Its Growth. And that's the theme of our panel for today's symposium. Now, for those of you who do read the New York Times page cover to cover, and not just the Metropolitan Report on Mondays, so, um, um, I want to point out that yesterday um, on page A17, we have listed that we're making cancer history because we've named every doctor who we have given our funds to this year. We didn't expect to raise $35 million this year. Our goal was 30. And because there was $5 million more than we expected, um, we now uh, have 151 researchers this year to whom we have awarded grants instead of the number that we had had. Now, in today's science section, I would like to point out to you, we have another fantastic ad for the Breast Cancer Research Foundation, which says that today we're awarding research grants of $32 million to 151 distinguished scientists worldwide. We have our executive Board of Scientific Advisors listed, and we have many generous donors who have actually funded specific researchers. We also have our Scientific Advisory Committee listed, and we are thanking all the friends who have given funds for these specific researchers. 